All right, so we're going to be talking about our Toy V telescope. It comes with a couple of posters. I'm just going to show these off and get them out of the way. This is the moon, obviously, and not a real picture of it. Um, this is the solar system, again, kind of obvious, and not a real picture of it. So the directions for the telescope are not super in-depth, but it's also a child's telescope, so it's not super hard to figure out either. Over here, we have our tripod. Your telescope is going to mount onto the tripod. You'll see it has the screw hole here, and it has the screw here. That's real straightforward. This little piece sticking out is going to stick into this little hole in the tripod. If you use camera tripods, this is real similar. Um, right here, you'll see that it has another screw hole. That's for the leveler handle uh, for the adjustment of the actual telescope. Um, I'm not going to set it up because the tripod would be real hard to use inside my light box. Uh, so down here we have a moon filter and a Bluetooth shutter. This is for your phone if you're taking pictures. If you have cameras, you probably have about a million of these floating around, so irrelevant really. Uh, the moon filter is going to go onto an eyepiece. I have it in the bag to protect it. Uh, it's the only thing that didn't seem to come with a decent case around it or a decent protector around it. Uh, Alright, so here is our telescope. You'll see right here, it's got two external screws. Those are for our finder scope, which is right here. Now to attach the lens, we're gonna take off our cover, put the metal part into the main part of the telescope, and then our eyepiece, which are in these little cases, would go right there on the top and you'd be ready to go. Uh, we have two additional eyepiece extender, or I don't know, lens extenders, eyepiece extenders, I don't know what you would call it. Uh, this is an erecting eyepiece right here, so you would put this in between these two. And this does give a magnification effect, but it also puts things in the right orientation. Uh, when you look through the telescope, everything's going to be upside down. Uh, not so confusing when you're looking in the sky, because you can't tell things are upside down, really. Uh, when you're looking at buildings or something on the ground, super confusing and disorienting. This one is a three times magnification lens. So basically we're just magnifying the effect of the telescope and you'll be amplifying that with one of the eyepieces. One is stronger than the other. And that's really all there is to it. It comes with a lot of plastic caps to protect all the various parts. I do like that because you can definitely keep this totally disassembled uh, in a bag or a box somewhere without worrying about it getting damaged. So that part's really cool. Um, one of the other things that I was worried about was the cell phone holder. You can see that this one actually gets pretty wide. I don't even have it extended all the way, but this is already wide enough to hold my iPhone in its case. So not something you have to worry about. A lot of things do have a hard time holding the bigger phones now, uh, but this one extends real far. You'll have no issues there. And basically the way this works is you're mounting this onto the eyepiece and then the eyepiece will be like right here. You're putting your phone into the case where your camera is looking through into the lens. I will try and get some pictures of the moon tonight if it's clear to go with my review. It's been a little rainy, so I can't make any promises that there will be any attached, but I will definitely give it a shot. Um, any other thoughts? Uh, the tripod, it's just a cheap tripod. Uh, it's not tall. I'm tempted to say that you could use um, a nice photo tripod in its place. You can see that I've already tried that because that doesn't give me any height whatsoever if I'm outside. I don't want to be like nearly on the ground looking through it. Um, it's harder to adjust on a camera tripod though because you don't have one of these little handles, or at least none of mine do. So this one is easier to adjust, but you need it to be on top of a table or something. Um, but you can pick up tripods that would be just as adjustable and stronger than this thing for pretty cheap uh, to use in your work. And again, this is just an entry level telescope. Uh, I was interested to see how good of photos my uh, camera could take through it. Uh, interested in photo astronomy, but this is much too cheap of a telescope for that. But it's definitely a good one for beginners, especially if you're just getting used to magnification and lenses and how everything works. Um, I've never had one, so this is the one I decided to go with. All right, so as you can see, the telescope is sitting assembled uh, inside our light box now. I want to show the eyepiece. So as you can see, our camera mount is on it. There's our eyepiece and the moon filter is installed on the bottom part of the eyepiece. It's going into our canister. 
So it's going to install just like that when you're doing the moon filter. And again, we have the leveler. This is the only reason why I like this tripod a little bit more than like a camera tripod. Like I said, if you have a nicer camera tripod, you're probably going to have something you can use similarly anyway. Um, but that's the whole shebang, how it looks. This is with the uh, 3X Barlow lens in between, uh, not the erector lens. And like I said, we'll be trying to get some photo shots here shortly of the moon.